You're trying to play eight when you will. I'm sitting here, car machine is going on. I mean, they put it to pacemaker, but it's got to be a defibrillator, because I don't think you feel your pacemaker go off. Sometimes if your wires come loose a little bit, they Maybe. might, you might feel a little bit of a shock, but. He doesn't have chest pain. Well, then He's he ain't not getting clamping. defibrillated. If he has a pacemaker, he should be feeling a little jolt or something. And if he has a defibrillator that went off, he should have felt what I've been told feels like a big punch in the chest. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? So you didn't feel anything at all? No, not basically. Okay. I, I was going to go to the emergency room, but the thing was going off like crazy. OK. Is it just a pacemaker, or is it a defibrillator also? Yes, uh-huh. And I see a scar. Have you had a bypass? Yes, a triple bypass. A triple bypass? OK. The is pacemaker. That going that's his alarm clock going off. That's OK. Thing. How old are you, babe? I made 81 in my day. Well, happy late birthday. Well, where's the gifts? I mean, ice cream. I'm here. That's gift enough. I got a cake that you could jump out of. OK, oh, I'm in. I'm in. I mean, everything looks good. Your pacemaker's going. And if you're not having any pain, I mean, that's good with me. I don't. But I'm going to pull all these off real quick. You ready? Go. Everything that we can see looks absolutely normal. There's no way for us to tell if something occurred prior to our arrival, but maybe something else is going on. Maybe we're not actually having a cardiac problem today. I think that's your alarm that's clock, darling. That's your alarm darling. clock. Don't tell me that. <laughs> yeah. That's just your alarm clock. Now you ever use the alarm. Well, the switch in the back got hit. That was the noise you were hearing? Yeah, that was it, yeah. Apparently, in all the years that this gentleman has had this alarm clock, he has never actually used his alarm. So he had no idea what it sounded like. Bless his heart. So his machine never actually ever went off. Who was having a party? <laughs> I mean, we you, can huh? have a party, too. That's my brother, Kenneth, and can he, uh... How y'all doing, everybody? Thank Hello. you for waking me. I was getting up in Well, I'm night. sorry we woke you. No, I get up every night. What you get up every night for? Watch TV. All right. And look at the women. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get enough for you this time? Boy, <laughs> you give me enough. <laughs> All right, Mr. RJ. If you have any other problems, which hopefully you won't, just give us a holler. Would y'all want to do a favor for me? What you want? What's that? Would you take the alarm clock with you? Ah. <laughs> I turned it off. And y'all behave yourself. You Wait. behave yourself. I'm the best experienced y'all ever had. I'm <laughs> telling you. It's calls like this where luckily nothing serious happened, but we still made a difference. And sometimes these are the calls you need. When I walked in there, he was like, that's what it was doing before. I was like, no, that's the alarm clock. I'd rather come out 100 times for something like that than Absolutely. have somebody sick. I think he flirted with her, Katie, a little bit more than he flirted with me, but that's OK. Like I told him, it's always better to be safe than to be sorry. That's right. And I will come hang out with him any day. Oh, I know. He's a character. I feel like that would be a good time. Yeah. Be safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. Ran the knob. Ran the knob. No, they're not dead. I can work with that.